Well, because Trish is standing by with trainer Alan Regal. You bet I am. And you know what? I thought I might have this a uh, little bit trouble getting this man up here on the podium because he's a man a few words often. But Alan, here you are talking to me about looking for art and saying you're a bit surprised yourself. Well, I'm surprised um, at this point in the uh, race right now. Well, you know, looking for art as a horse that was unraced as a two-year-old, were there specific problems or was he just a little immature? He had some problems as a two-year-old and uh, they just wasn't going to get any better without rest, so we just quit him and kept him over. Isn't it amazing how sometimes the problems can be behind one? He's had a decent season, but for many that saw him on today's car, they looked at him as strictly an outsider. Did his trainer look at him in that way, too? I thought I'd do good the first heat. Uh, I, I thought he'd, he'd make the final. I, you know, I didn't really know. I know he's good on the half, and that's the main reason we started him. Were there any specific instructions to Eric Ledford before he went forward in his elimination division with this one? None. So he was just doing whatever he felt was right. Eric's drove him before. He drove him four or five times. And, uh, you know, with Eric making his first drives, he got the first one in the final, the second one in the final. I didn't know what to think about getting the third one in the final. <laughs> Pretty exciting. But, you know, you talk about looking for Art, and you say he's kind of a small horse in stature. He is. He, he's a little horse, and, uh, but he's got a big heart, and he's got a lot of breeding. Well, you talk about that big heart. That's something you can't see when you go to the sales ring. At what point did he show you he had a lot of heart? Well, he showed it to me training this year, and uh, I drove him his first start, and, you know, he was just super. And he's one of the best little horses to work with you could ever want to work with. And uh, Eric, when he drove him, he said, this little horse is going to go somewhere this year. But, you know, we made several changes because it's his first year of racing, so nothing was really set. And so we had a lot of changes to make to get him fine-tuned down to this point. And I don't think there'll be too many more changes. No, I would think not. But you know, Alan, the big story here is the fact that it's not one heat, it's not two heats, it's three heats. What a test of endurance. And do you think he's equal to the task? Well, you know, I know his breeding could carry him. And uh, he seems good. He blowed out good. Uh, he looks sharp. So we'll just take her from here. You will take it from there. You keep bringing up breeding, breeding, breeding. Breeding is of a lot of importance. You're going to be heading the sales soon. What do you look for? One minute. Well, you, when you look through the catalog, you look for the breeding first, and then you look at the horse next. All right. Well, we have a good one here to look at. That's looking for Art and his conditioner, Alan Regal. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Let's go back over to the infield. Well, thanks very much.